Well, here's a little demo of some of the features on the uh, NAP3 program that we're using on the K3 LP pan combo. <clears throat> Listening to a CW signal. Now, this mode is called Spanafall. In other words, we're seeing, uh, we're seeing the waterfall here and the span up here. And we can look at, uh, this is called span adapter, which is just your basic uh, band scope here, showing all the signals. Uh, this waterfall mode, just pure waterfall. Uh, let's see, and this one's called the scope. You can actually see the CW characters from these stations. It's a very weak signal there. You can actually see the dots and dashes and the letters as they are formed here on the screen. See the O here, CQ. You can also see uh, the wave shape of his signal. Okay, here is. Uh, Spanoscope mode, combination of the span and the scope. And here is spectrum. And here is histogram. This is really an interesting one here. see as I tune it, it leaves a shadow or a history. It's back to Spanafall. Here's the peak mode. In the peak mode it more or less paints a picture of the signals and it leaves the peaks on here and eventually we're going to end up with a screen just solid white. Turn peak mode off. We can turn averaging off. You get a really busy screen that way. I think I'll demonstrate the SDR receiver once more. We're listening to the LP pan. Turn it up here a little bit. Now we're on 200 hertz. Now this is the frequent. This is the bandwidth of the LP pan. Here's 100 hertz. Here's 50 hertz. There's 400. 
600, 800, 1 kilohertz. We also have the AGC control. We've got an RF gain. We can back that down. We got binary audio. Binary audio gives us kind of a spatial effect between the left and the right channels. You can't be, you're not able to hear that on the camera. There's the noise reduction. We've got an automatic notch filter, which of course will notch out our desired CW signal. <laughs> That works best on AM mode or sideband. And it's got noise blankers built in too. So this is NAP3. It's free. You can get it off the N8LP website. Also there's a um, equalizer built into this program. It's rather elaborate. We can collapse the screen here. This eliminates most of your controls and gives us just the waterfall and the uh, spanning scope up here. Try to focus a little better there. We can go back to the expanded mode. And again, we can stretch things out a little bit. should be able to see 192 kilohertz of the band. We're way down here below, let's we'll see, 48, 70 or so, and this is 36, 50 up here. Turn the sub receiver off. cycle filter on the LP pan. What you're really hearing here is signal that's coming out of the the first IF of the K3 being fed into the LP pan. That goes to the sound card. The sound card has uh, two speakers plugged into it. So you're not listening to the K3, you're listening to the LP pan. Both of them are good receivers. As you can see here, the S meter, it corresponds to what is on the K3. And I've got my scale set to be calibrated in the S units. Over here on the left, you can see the S units. 
You can see that strongest signal right there. He's about 15 over 9. Looks like a carrier. Let's see what? Oh, he went away. Let's see what this fellow's up to right here. There's a guy right here. Let's see what this fellow's up to here. There's a carrier. This guy must be having fun tuning up. He's got a big signal. Here's a big strong signal. Okay, hope you enjoyed the demo.